Hi there, this is Josh, and today I'm going to show you a nice amount of books. Uh, in the month of January, I finally moved into the library, and I brought in a lot of the books that were on the floor in front of my bookshelf. And it's really nice to have shelves and the opportunity to shelve several books. Uh, and I'm only adding on to the collection, uh, which leads me to this uh, book haul that I'm going to be conducting today. Uh, this is what I'm going to call the Library Warming Book Haul. And this is everything that I got for myself and everything that friends and family got for me since I moved into the library. I should first mention that I have a collection of uh, Charles Dickens novels that a uh, family friend uh, gave to us. Uh, that was a graduation gift, and this took place uh, eight months before I officially began moving into the library. So I thought I would make mention to that. But this is everything I've gotten since. Uh, let's begin with uh, Brianna Little, who was on a few episodes of the show. Uh, she had gotten me a belated Christmas gift, uh, and it came with a, uh, a note in the form of a book. It was a really thoughtful idea, one of the most thoughtful things uh, anybody has ever gotten me. The whole package itself, but uh, she got me uh, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. And it's interesting that this is uh, the uh, dark occurrences that are taking place uh, during the, uh, at the 1893 World's Fair that was set in Chicago. Well, it's really interesting because this was such a turning point uh, technologically, but also commercially and uh, a lot of American name brand products uh, made their debut during that World's Fair in 1893. And she also got for me a personal library kit, which, what a creative idea, I must, I'll have to say that much. Uh, she, it comes with uh, library cards, uh, cards where you can keep track of people borrowing your books. And even the, uh, the rubber stamp and the stamp pad as well. And the little pencil, too. So this was uh, highly appreciated. Next uh, thing I got was from a co-worker of mine named Frankie. Uh, he is a, a Terry Pratchett enthusiast. So uh, this is part of his uh, Discworld series. And... Uh, the novels, from what he told me, uh, can be read in any which order, and they loosely connect with one another. But he felt that this was a way to get me into reading his favorite author in Terry Pratchett. Next thing I got was from my sister. I've been waiting for this uh, for quite some time. Uh, I was going to get it myself, uh, and uh, it's The Martian by Andy Weir. I heard a lot of great things about it. The whole idea of being left behind on Mars, uh, thought to be dead, and the way that Mark Watney, the title character, uh, handles the situation, which he's in deep jeopardy, and whether or not he's going to make it off of Mars alive is a big question at hand. Uh, I definitely want to uh, get into uh, this novel. Next thing I got was another gift uh, from a family friend uh, named May, and it was the it's history in quotations, and it is a, a, a collection of historical events from the point of view of people that have been there and their quotes, whether it be, whether they are connected to uh, that uh, moment in time or 
are the, uh, or it's the history itself. This is definitely going to be something I get back and forth to. Uh, I may read it a little bit at a time, but definitely going to read it either way. I got a uh, paperback of uh, 112263 by Stephen King from my friend Beth. I, had, I bought this in hardcover when it first came out. I read it and I thought it was pretty good. I really am into the scenarios of uh, what if Kennedy had lived and uh, the fact that this is Stephen King's take is a bonus. And the last thing I got from someone else was from my parents this Easter. And it's the American Patriots Handbook, which includes speeches and poems that have to do with uh, America uh, and patriotism, which this is definitely going to be something that interests me. Uh, some of the, uh, you have poetry from, you have, uh, you have poetry from Anne Bradstreet, uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, uh, you have O Captain, My Captain by Walt Whitman, but you also have the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, Monroe Doctrine, and you have uh, important inaugural addresses like uh, that of uh, JFK. And now I'm going to show you the books that I got on my Amazon uh, shopping spree. I got some Amazon gift cards, and I'm really grateful to have that. And then I did some of my own shopping, too. First thing, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Uh, this is a favorite of Ari, Lainey the Moderator. Kelsey has said that she enjoyed this. Just a lot of people have mentioned how much they uh, love this novel. They want to go over it on the show. I'm going to be granting it to them, so we are going to be discussing this uh, over the summer. And from what I read from the summary, uh, the story of Arthur Dent being plucked away as somewhat of a pedestrian and being placed in this more absurdist atmosphere seems very attention-grabbing. Ari also enjoyed The Phantom Tolbin, which had that vibe to it, and I'm hoping to enjoy this just as much. Next thing I got was The Never Ending Story by Michael End. It is, uh, I don't know how the, uh, the German pronunciation is, but I read this in a uh, summer program when I was in middle school, and this w it caught my attention uh, very much, and I really like the fact that it is uh, the absorption of a passion for reading, and how uh, Bastian, the title character, uh, uh, steals a book from a bookstore. Uh, in actuality, he's just borrowing it, uh, and he plans on bringing it back, uh, but... He gets so absorbed into the story that he eventually uh, becomes one of the characters, which, that's quite surreal. I would think that that is the ultimate uh, fantasy meets book lover novel. And I do want to get back to this so I can uh, confirm my opinion. Next thing I picked up was A Field Guide to Earthlings, an autistic Asperger view of neurotypical behavior. This rang a bell when I was uh, watching a video from uh, Sarah's channel, The Library of Sarah. Definitely check that out if you have not. She's fantastic. But it's interesting to get the uh, point of view of uh, how uh, people on the spectrum interpret uh, common behavior, if you want to call it that. And being someone with Asperger's, uh, it's interesting to uh, take notes and uh, keep tally of 
which of these things are quite true. And I'm definitely going to get to this. Next thing I picked up is something from uh, my high school days, and that is The Crucible by Arthur Miller. I was reading the high school's copies uh, when we were going over this, and I finally remember the uh, comic project where we had to create a comic using uh, images from the internet. And uh, in, uh, the closest thing I can find to Abigail drinking the chicken's blood was a uh, some model in a red dress drinking uh, a red alcoholic drink, and. Uh, it, def it caught my uh, instructor's attention in a uh, thrilling way. But I'm looking forward to getting back to this uh, because we also plan on going... We plan to go over this on our show as well. Things are pretty much closing up regarding Season 5. But Next thing is The Complete Poems of Sappho, translated by Willis Barnstone. Uh, I was reminded of Sappho when watching Gene's videos from Gene Bookish Thoughts. And uh, it's pretty amazing how she can be deemed the first woman in literature. The fact that she is from the island of Lesbos and wrote a lot about female-to-female uh, -female, uh, relationships. Now it's commonly known as lesbianism, which was inspired by the island of Lesbos, but uh, the I started reading as much as I could in the Norton Anthology of uh, World Lit Volume A and came across uh, some more. But I wanted to have uh, a much tighter grasp, and uh, this was the uh, this seemed to be the ideal Sappho collection. So I'm happy to have uh, a copy. Next thing I did was uh, pick up some more comics. Uh, I got Batman Volume 2, City of Owls. Uh, I got Volume 1, The Court of Owls, at the comic book store. And The Amazing Spider-Man, uh, the Parker Luck. Uh, this is the... Uh, from what I'm getting, it's uh, a new... Uh, new round of Spider-Man comics. Uh, I would say that Batman and Spider-Man are my two favorites, uh, even though it's, uh, it's DC and Marvel, but I think both dominate the comic world either way, so a representative from each side is quite something. Next thing I did was uh, complement my fairy tale collection. I have the uh, uh, works of the Grimm Brothers and Han Hans Christian Andersen, but I was looking to get more, and I wanted to concentrate on the cultural aspects. So I picked, so I purchased uh, Russian fairy tales, Chinese fairy tales and fantasies, Norwegian folk tales and Dutch fairy tales for young folks. And there's some, the, in the Dutch collection, uh, one of the titles, it's uh, The Boy Who Wanted More Cheese. And I think Charlie would do the same thing. If it was The Boy Who Wanted More Cookies, you'd get two hands. But the, uh, I'm hoping to uh, add to this, uh, there's a really, a hearty list on Goodreads that I refer to, and I'll leave a link to that down below as well. And the last thing I got was something I have re had really had my eye on since I came across it, and that is the uh, Library of America collection of Saul Bellow's novels, and novellas in some cases, which I bought Seize the Day as an individual. I read it, I thought it was okay. But this is quite some, this is uh, his first three novels, 
his next three, which includes Seize the Day, uh, Henderson the Rain King, and uh, Herzog, which I hear a lot of uh, great things from uh, literary critics. Uh, his uh, three afterward, uh, and uh, then his uh, final six, uh, four of which are novellas or short novels. Uh, and quite amazing what a Library of America is doing here. And they're nonprofit as well. Uh, and they're, the fact that they are collecting the writers that they deem to be amazing, it's just quite something. Here we go. Here, here's everything in one place. Quite outstanding. Quite a collection, I think. Uh, these editions are quite... Uh, really happy to have them among my library, and I really am looking forward to getting to them accordingly. Uh, just as I uh, make my way through the rest of my the TBR. Thank you for tuning into this book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And for now, and as always, keep reading.